This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 5th of December. I'm James Spann. Boy, what a weather pattern. So much to talk about. Cold front near the northwestern tip of the state. Maybe some strong storms tonight or tomorrow morning. Much colder during the day tomorrow. And uh, maybe some freezing rain up in northwest Alabama late tomorrow night. And a huge mess west of the state. And we might see some flooding here before it's all over. And then very cold by the middle of next week. So let's get in there and run through all of this for you. We'll start with the uh, current setup. That's the water vapor satellite image. And uh, you can see the trouble there. We've got this big trough in the west pulling down very cold air, a southwest flow aloft over the shallow cold air over states like Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Texas. And that's where we've got some icing problems. Now, uh, it is a very warm December day. Montgomery, 81. Tuscaloosa, 79. Very close to record levels. You cross the front. You've got 40s in North Mississippi. Memphis is down to 45. Uh, last time I checked, Oxford, Mississippi was at 46. And Little Rock is down to 39. And that cold air is just seeping south. It's going to take its time, but we're going to be in the cold air by tomorrow afternoon in most places. Uh, we'll check the uh, radar. That's uh, the view at 130, and you can see we've got showers and storms developing in advance of the Arctic boundary. And some of those little showers are trying to rotate, but uh, they're fairly low-topped. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of thunder and lightning, and we'll discuss the convective situation here in just a minute. Uh, there's the watch warning map. If you are traveling west or north, be aware of big, big problems. There's an ice storm warning for southeast Oklahoma, parts of central Arkansas. That includes Little Rock, parts of west Tennessee. That includes Memphis. And then winter storm warnings all the way from west Texas through Dallas-Fort Worth, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Paducah, Kentucky, Evansville, Indiana, almost over to Cincinnati. Uh, and you're going to see some snow deeper in the colder air. Uh, north of the icing. Uh, no advisories for Alabama. There are advisories that uh, butt right up to the northwestern tip of the state. Uh, it's going to be a close call. In fact, again, this is kind of what we think uh, might happen uh, late tomorrow night. There could be a touch of freezing rain uh, west of that yellow line uh, from near Vernon up to uh, Moulton and Hazel Green. Uh, I don't think it's a major threat. Certainly, no, I don't think we'll have any power outages, and uh, hopefully the roads will be just wet. But there certainly could be some bridge icing tomorrow night in that zone. So if you're driving up through there, be aware of that. Now, in the warm sector, the guys at SPC have gone ahead and uh, uh, put up a slight risk of severe weather. That is the standard risk for uh, most of north and central Alabama for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. Uh and again, you know, looking at things, the better helicity values are back in the colder air uh, around Memphis and the Mississippi Delta. Uh, the instability values are over 1,000 joules. The lapse rate's not that impressive. Like we talked about this morning, it's not a major threat, but we might see a storm or two that will try and rotate. And uh, it's not out of the question that we might see a tornado warning somewhere uh, tonight, but once the sun gets down, and again, you know, the sun's probably down by the time you watch this. It goes down, you know, 445 in the afternoon now. Uh, things should settle down, so hopefully not a big issue, and I don't think we'll have one. And then uh, this is the tornado probabilities, 5% uh, through much of north and central Alabama. And again, like we discussed, can't rule out a tornado warning somewhere this evening, but uh, once we get uh, on into the late night hours, hopefully that risk will fade. And this is tomorrow, day two. Uh, low end 5% severe weather possibilities in advance of the Arctic boundary through parts of central and south Alabama. And like today, it's kind of a marginal risk. There's no formal risk, but just something to watch. Anytime we're up in the 70s and low 80s in December, you have to watch. The one thing I'll guarantee, it's going to rain a lot. This is the rain for the next five days, uh, four to five inches for northeast Alabama. Uh, amounts around here, three to four inches. And this could cause some flooding, you know, by the time we get to Monday night of next week. I mean, this is going to be a very, very, very wet period uh, for the state. And I'd say for Alabama, this might be our greatest threat is from flooding along the way. In terms of ice, this is the uh, icing outlook on day two. This is tomorrow. A high risk of more than a quarter inch of ice uh, for Memphis, down to parts of the Mississippi Delta, uh, parts of Arkansas, then up into uh, parts of uh, West Tennessee. And that's just going to be very, very messy. You know, a lot of people are trying to get to Memphis for this uh, St. Jude Marathon. Uh, uh, tomorrow, driving will be difficult, if not impossible, in some spots in through there. And you see how the risk uh, kind of clips that northwestern corner of the state. That's a that zone we talked about for tomorrow night. But the really big mess more than likely should be a little north and west of the state. We'll check modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. 
And uh, again, we've got a southwest flow aloft, and down below that, uh, an icy mess uh, tomorrow. Dallas, Fort Worth, Little Rock, Memphis, Paducah, Kentucky, Evansville, Indiana, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, and then deeper in the colder air, those blue shades, that snow uh, falling. And of course, the green, that's rain, and uh, we will have rain here uh, most of the day tomorrow. Uh, not exactly a Chamber of Commerce kind of day, and uh, temperatures will be all over the board. Uh, this is uh, the high res NAM at three o'clock tomorrow, and uh, again, I, I think it's going to have a hard time with this. Uh, it is not done well today. I don't expect it to do well tomorrow. I think the cold air will be farther south and east. I think the numbers will be colder than what you see there in the cold air because the model does not have the resolution to handle shallow cold air. Uh, but I think what happens for Tus Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, it's going to be warm and muggy tomorrow morning. You wake up, will be in the 60s, maybe around 70. Uh, <laughs> but then temperatures begin to fall into the 40s. Of course, up in northwest Alabama, they'll be in the 40s all day uh, and maybe 30s all day around the shoals. Uh, but if you're in Haleyville or Fayette or Vernon, uh, you know, Moulton, you'll, you'll be cold all day. However, if you're south and east of Birmingham, Ashland, Lineville, Alexander City, Rockford, uh, Roanoke, Wadawi, Anniston, you'll be warm all day. And again, you'll be close to record warmth, and we'll have to watch for strong storms in that warm air. Uh, so a one-number temperature forecast won't work tomorrow. Trust me. Now, this is tomorrow night at midnight or Saturday at 12 a.m., and uh, you can see well, this is where there could be a bit of freezing rain up in that northwestern corner of the state. Uh, the rain's going to be moving out as the colder air deepens, but there's clearly a window for that. So again, around the Shoals, Florence, maybe down to Hamilton, Hackleburg, maybe Vernon. Uh, there could be a little bridge icing late tomorrow night. Just be aware of that possibility. Uh, this is Friday night at midnight off the high-res NAM. And this model is suggesting the, the rain is really kind of winding down as that blue line, the freeze line, drops south into uh, Alabama. But we've seen other runs that show a good bit of rain behind that blue line. In fact, this is the buff kit data for Muscle Shoals. And you can see a number of models do suggest a tenth of an inch of freezing rain uh, tomorrow night. And that's, that's not good. That's not enough to cause any power outages, but it could certainly lead to some bridge icing. So, again, around Florence, the Shoals, Russellville, Hackleburg, Phil Campbell, Hamilton, maybe Vernon. Just be aware of a little bridge icing tomorrow night. Now, Saturday, uh, we are in cold air. Uh, we will kind of hover in the low 40s all day around here. Uh, northwest Alabama probably stay in the 30s all day. Clouds with some light rain at times. Uh, the rain will not be especially heavy. I don't think it's continuous on Saturday, just periods of light rain, uh, cloudy and cold. Now, Sunday... Uh, a warm front begins to move north with the next wave. Uh, icing on Sunday in Little Rock and parts of Kentucky, Louisville, Lexington, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Evansville, Indiana could see some bad icing on Sunday. But for us, again, it's just rain. And it's another temperature nightmare for forecasting. You see a nose of warmer air trying to push up in here, but it's fighting the wedge or cold air damming uh, over east Alabama and the Arctic air over northwest Alabama. But this is suggesting just maybe uh, Birmingham and Anniston and Tuscaloosa might get up towards 60. Not so sure that happens, but it's a possibility. Um, but areas to the north will stay cold Sunday. And rain is likely with that uh, warm front pushing north. Uh, rain likely through much of the day. Here's Monday, and it's still raining. I mean, goodness, yeah, I, I can't recall the last time we saw the sun here. Uh, let me just show you the, in fact, here's Tuesday very quickly, and the rain finally stops and moves down into South Alabama, and as cold air comes in, there might be a period where we could see a few snow flurries maybe Tuesday morning. Don't think we'll amount to anything if that happens. Uh, these are rain totals projected through Tuesday morning uh, at uh, 6 a.m., but between now and Tuesday morning, coming off the European, uh, it's got Birmingham at 3 inches, Gadsden 3.5 inches, Boaz 4.5 inches, uh, Huntsville 4.5 inches. Uh, so clearly that's a whole lot of rain. Hopefully it will come... Uh, you know, not all at once, and we won't have any flooding issues, but just something to watch. The ground will be certainly saturated by early next week. Um, now, Tuesday is going to be cold. Uh, this is temperatures uh, Tuesday at noon. It's got Birmingham in the upper 30s. We could have a hard time getting out of the 30s on Tuesday. Uh, and up in North Alabama, in the Tennessee Valley, they're going to have a hard time getting above freezing up there. It's going to be a very cold day, uh, gradual clearing, perhaps Tuesday afternoon. This is Wednesday. Finally, the sun comes back. Wednesday morning is going to be cold. We'll expect an average low down around 20. 
Uh, some of the colder pockets will likely see teens. And this is Thursday. Same thing. Sunny but cold. All right. Let's check the end of the forecast. December 21st, four days before Christmas. Can't believe we're forecasting the weather almost at Christmas time now. Uh, zonal flow across the nation flow not especially uh, fast and if that's right that would be pretty pleasant you know cool seasonal and dry but we all know that is in the land of voodoo that's it for the weather extreme video this afternoon we'll have notes on the blog next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning you can catch us on abc 3340 news this evening on the live stream or the television side at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a great evening and god bless